Hitman Absolution. We are doing the Blackwater Park on normal, double A gamer for life. Okay, so we're about ready to wrap this up on normal. We're going to do the suit only challenge. And uh, not really sure exactly how to tackle this with uh, doing it stealthy or not being seen, but uh, to be honest with you, after doing as many challenges as I had to get through this, I'm pretty much ready to get my uh, gun off, so basically I'm going to walk right in the front door and run right back to the security room uh, where there's a copier where I will pretty much uh, hold out and take the fight to these guards. Okay, and when you get in this room, there's a shotgun. Uh, the ump and a couple pistols right there, and it's basically the same weapons that the guards drop in this lower level, and there's basically the same weapons that we're going to need for our lost and found. Now, when you're using a an area similar to this to take the fight to the enemies, it kind of gets to like where a stagnant point. You're kind of like sitting there and they won't come after you so what you could do is just come off a of cover and kind of walk around a little bit like walk towards that door and then come back and that'll trigger them to come out now this takes me about a uh, good 20 25 minutes to clear this bottom level of all the guards and i'm not gonna show all that i'm gonna basically cut out a lot of the the fighting because uh a bulk of it is just me sitting here uh taking out the guards and then just using the routine like I said what will happen is like right now nobody's coming I'll just come off a of cover kind of walk over towards the front door or the door there kind of just juke and jive around a little bit and that'll get them to come back into this room and then uh, obviously the window that's open to my rear here you can shoot whoever you want but we kind of want them to come into this room so that we can uh, keep our ammo supply stock and uh i'll use the shotgun for as many kills as i can but then i'll just pick up the ump that is right there on the counter or any of the guards that may drop them but uh with this little area uh you're in a nice spot you can't get flanked uh, they can't shoot you through the window but uh, as long as you stay on cover they won't hit you but like i said like right now nobody's coming so i need to come off a of cover kind of walk around a little bit and then they'll start coming. So what will happen is like one or two guys will come in the door. If you kill them, they'll kind of retreat. But then just come off cover, kind of just walk around out there a little bit. And then take cover and then they'll come in. And then you just kind of repeat that process. All right, so after a good uh, 15 or more minutes, I kind of, the room to the back. Okay, the room to the back, uh, it's got like the manager back there and then uh, some guards would keep respawning back there. So, uh, you know, I would just go back there, shoot them. There's a little bathroom back there where you can get your health. But uh, after you kind of cleared out a good amount of guards, head outside. There's going to be a few guards out here to, to take out. Hope that was a nice magazine. Get out of the way, man. Clear. 
Okay, so that takes care of all the guards inside and outside. And uh, since we're outside, we're going to go ahead and collect the items that we need for our lost and found. Uh, looks like we got a... One more guard here to deal with. Okay, I believe that's the last of the guards. Okay, so from the beginning when you spawn in, you head down to the right side, up a little ways, there's going to be a bat. Okay, some of these items, there are multiple places. Uh, there's a bat in the laundry room, there's also a bat up in Lenny's room on the penthouse. Okay, further down is a gas can. Again, there's a gas can up in the penthouse as well. But since we're out here, we'll go ahead and pick them up. Okay, you head into the custodial room. Okay, I don't believe that there's any uh, items in this room, but through the door and to the left is the little security room where our evidence is. Okay, so that's the home of the evidence. And then we got a coffee cup here, so go ahead and pick that up. There's a wrench there. Make sure to get that. Okay, I think that's going to take care of that until we get inside. We're going to go ahead and circle around to where the I don't know what you would call it. The maintenance area. There's like a little they got a barb uh, a bar, excuse me, a bar office here, right to the thing. I don't know, this is not where a guest would come in, but right there where the teller's room is, whatever you call this little area. Okay, we got a fire extinguisher in here. There's also another fire extinguisher in the laundry room. Okay, so from here we walk uh, through the lobby, back to where the projector is. There's a screwdriver on the desk. We wanted to get that. I do not believe that there's a screwdriver up in the penthouse at all, so you want to make sure you get that. Okay, there's also a bottle back here. You want to make sure to pick that up down here. I don't think there's any bottles up in the penthouse either, so... Okay, we already did the film and we uh, uploaded it into projector in one of the previous videos to got our crash course uh, challenge. And of course when you're with the enemy weapons, you always want to make sure you picked up uh, one of each item there, the ump and the shotgun, the pistol. Okay, we got a knife here. And we definitely want to make sure we get that because I don't believe there's a knife up in the penthouse. Uh, there's a radio here. And uh, I do believe there's a radio up in Lenny's room in the penthouse, so you can also get it up there as well. And that's going to take care of it for the downstairs area. We got our evidence and uh, all the items re uh, pertaining to the lower part of the hotel. So we're going to go ahead and cut the video here and come up with the penthouse next. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads. 